Hey everyone, I'm Illustrator John McCoy and you're watching an unboxing video for the Mint 3D Printing Pen. This is the package before I've unboxed it, but before I get into that I want to show you a, another investment I made. It's called Helping Hands, it's by Pros Kit, and I already unboxed it. It's a, it's basically a, these, these arms that hold alligator clamps. And the reason I did this is because I've actually done a 3D pen sculpt before, only one. I used a friend's 3D pen just to kind of trial the 3D pen experience, and I was very pleased with that experience. So I'm deciding to invest in the Mint 3D pen. This is the skull little sculpture I made. And the reason I got the alligator clamps is because I found that a really nice way of sculpting with this pen and I realize this as other people, other artists have shared their processes. I've noticed a strength of the 3D pen is to sculpt on a flat surface and make shapes and then adhere those shapes together. And then once you have a form going, you can um, continue to add on to that form. So the idea behind this um, alligator clamp is to be able to hold the form, sculpt something, and then hold it with your hand and use or hold it with this other clamp and then use the 3d pen to solder the pieces together i found myself struggling a little bit only having two hands to be able to work in that fashion of soldering so now let's get right into the mint 3d printing pen unboxing first i'm going to unbox the pen and then i'm going to actually do a sculpt using this pen and share my ideas and thoughts about how that first sculpture with this pen went. I invested it in the Mint 3D printing pen because I did a lot of research and I found a lot of artists were had very positive reviews about this particular pen. I'm sure they're all great um, to a degree, but I decided to go for this one because of that, all the positive reviews I heard. So here we go, we're unboxing right away. I like the, the packaging is really nice. It's very similar to my friend's pen, but that was of a different brand. I can share that in the description. Here we go. We got a user manual. This is really helpful. I actually read manuals when I invest in things because, number one, I take pride in what I invest in, and I want to be able to use it to the best I can for my profession as an illustrator. So I won't be able to read this right away. I will read this off video right before my sculpt, and then we'll get to it. But using my knowledge of my experience that I had with my friend's pen, um, I can probably describe what I'm seeing here. It looks like we have three colors of ABS plastic. I like the spiral. I heard very positive things about the spiral um, form factor for the pen. People said that the straight plastic that they would feed through the pen was not um, efficient because they wanted to change colors and this was a this was a way you could kind of change colors quicker um, and you the shorter pieces you'd go through them and it would be like trying to feed I'm assuming you feed half of a little tiny piece of plastic in it sometimes you don't really get it's it's hard to feed that so if you want to change quickly between colors this is useful for that um, that right there and we have a AC adapter for a USB this is the same uh, experience I had with my friend's pen. Just got a little piece of um, little twisty tie to hold it together. This actually, okay, already I would say this is uh, seems to be a higher quality USB. I think this one costs it a, a bit more than my friend's pen, but it um, sometimes those little things help. So you plug that in, plug this into the pen. Here we have, um, I honestly don't know what I'm seeing here. It looks like a little screwdriver type thing to get into the pen probably. And this is beautiful. I like the weight of it already. Um, this is very, I, you see this pen all the time in people's um, sculpting videos, some of the top videos on YouTube and other places. They use this Mint 3D printing pen. This is the professional version. There's actually a, a 3D pen that's a little less in cost but yeah so i think this is pretty much it for the unboxing i'm, I'm liking what i'm seeing and uh i'm gonna go ahead and do a sculpt and uh we'll see what we can come up with so thanks for watching and enjoy the uh sculpting process
So I hope you guys enjoyed watching the process. I just wanted to show the end product. This is the finished little truck. I worked from this little car as a reference point. And as you could see during the video, I came up with this uh, sculpture first. And as you can see, the lines are much wonkier in this sculpture than they are in this one. And that's because I'm learning the, this new media, this pen, and I'm, I'm, I can sense that I'm learning quite a bit about it. And for the next sculpt, I will apply all this knowledge. This is a learning curve process of learning this new media. This is um, this 3D pen. But I'm overall pleased with the effects. And by comparison to my last sculpt, which I still like quite a bit, um, I definitely could see new knowledge forming as I was learning this one. So I hope you guys enjoyed watching the video. I would encourage you to subscribe to the channel. I'm always releasing new content that I'm sure you're going to enjoy. And uh, we'd love to have you join the channel. Until next time, I'd encourage you guys to stay safe, stay home, and God bless.